and welcome back everyone David here Fred Sanford's vintage sewing machine parts and a real quick video on uh, some prizes that I'm giving away for those that participated in September's the treasure box game where I asked 45 members to purchase four treasure boxes at six dollars each for a Fred's fund fundraiser raising money for the roof to create, to cover Sewing Machine Heaven showroom. So, I want to show on top of the number one grand prize, the Singer 20. That was me, Harleys. Have to show it. One treasure box. We'll have a vintage sewing machine pencil sharpener. We'll represent that Singer 20 valued at $120. Nice thing about this is you can win that and possibly one of these other prizes. I would say in value these would be the next best prizes. And that's what I'm doing a video on. I was able to find five sterling silver thimbles in my collection. And we're going to go with the most, where are the, my cheater glasses. We're going to go with this first one over here. It's the highest valued. It's a picture of a country home on there. Let's see if I can put maybe a finger in it. See that? There it is. There's the country home. It's really ornate. Real good shape. There's a trademark uh, inside there. All right, we're gonna. So it's bag two. We'll put it in this one. Probably one of the cooler, coolest tins out of the bunch. Alright, we'll just set it aside for one of the boxes. And the next one has an anchor on it. You have to do the research. I didn't have a, a whole lot of time, but if you do your research, you'll see what that anchor stands for. Real ornate. This one's a uh, 3.9 grams, valued at forty dollars. Let's look at the third one. Simon Brothers has a very good marking on the inside. If you see that in focus, oh, let me put a finger in it. That's the best way I think. I think how ornate it is. Next one, I got Simon Brothers again with the question mark because I wasn't sure. The marking on the inside wasn't very good at 4.7 grams. Very heavy. Valued at This one, Simon Brothers, ornate, and we got slightly out of round, well, quite a bit out of round. Didn't get as much of a value on it at a uh, 2.9 grams, a little smaller. We valued this one at 18 bucks. I think we'll just leave it with just the, the thimbles on the inside, and we'll take some of this material. Just like that. Should be enough, just enough material to do these last five boxes. Just like that. Hold on. 
What am I doing? Make sure you watch the other video. I'm used stuff in the, a few of the boxes, including the grand prize box. If you haven't seen it yet. So you get the basic idea. Just saved enough material to do the last five boxes. I'll probably put, uh, oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. Let's just finish it up. We'll put Elizabeth on the inside. Elizabeth's job is to hang on sewing machines. She got the little hanging thing. You can also hang them on a Christmas tree, getting to that season. But uh, she hangs on the on your sewing machine and looks pretty. Well, not in use. I sell dumpling jacks, which contains Elizabeth. And the, the rumor is, if you save Elizabeth from her quarantine dumpling bag, she'll bring you a treasure. Those are available for five dollars each. I will also be having a dumpling bag game to uh, for a Fred's fun fundraiser. This last clasp is giving me a hard time um, for November. So that's going to be the next one, and the next treasure box game won't be till next year. I got a little material hanging on the outside. Here's what the dealio is. So I won't get this thing to close. I'll work on that. All right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Please subscribe and like the videos.